Total War 2 is a fantastic game that released in late 2006. Even though it's an older Total War game by now, it still looks and runs well, and it has a huge amount of mods available for it. It's one of those games that I bought a while ago specifically for the mods. I first picked it up to run the Third Age Total War mod, which is a really fantastic mod which lets you play as the factions in Middle Earth. Best of all, it lets you play as Mordor in the Grand Campaign, and you can crush the annoying elves and humans with huge armies of orcs and trolls. Orcs and trolls are the next best thing for me to play after Undead, so every now and then I take great pleasure in destroying the free peoples of Middle Earth, and drowning Middle Earth in blood, just as the Dark Lord intended. If you want to crush humans, elves, dwarves and hobbits with armies of orcs and trolls, this mod comes highly recommended for me. It has Mordor, Isengard, Misty Mountain, Goblins, Angmar, and a few more as playable factions, as well as all the good guys if you're into that. However, I'm not making this video to talk about Middle Earth. I'm here to show you the Elder Scrolls mod for Medieval Total War 2, because it has an undead faction in it. Very unfortunately, the Undead Faction and a couple of others, like the Daedra Faction, are not available for use in the Grand Campaign. However, you can still play as them in custom battles. I sincerely hope that one day, the models will let you play as Undead in the Grand Campaign, but this seems unlikely because the faction serves as an AI-controlled minor faction, and exists there to be a fall on the side of bigger playable factions. It's sad, but it doesn't mean you can't have fun playing this mod. As a Total War game, it of course features plentiful minions. You could command an army of undead. There's hundreds of them and there's a bunch of different units. There's the Lich, which is most powerful, costing 10,000 sceptons. Then there's your bog standard naked skeletons with sword and shield, or bows. A variety of different Draugr, which are tough and heavily armoured soldiers. Draugr archers, Draugr heavy infantry, and Draugr spearmen. You've also got Volkihar vampires with long swords, and Volkihar spell swords who are capable of hurling destruction magic at the enemy, and they can also go in for melee attacks if they need to. Finally, you've got the necromancers that hurl fireballs at the enemy. All of the units are very useful, even the basic skeletons do a good job in combat, but the vampires and Draugr do especially well. All of the minions are permanent, so you don't have to worry about temporary summons and annoying stuff like that. This is a proper, capable army. It's ready to kick the ass of the Mage's Guild or whoever else dares to defy necromancy. For the score, I'd give it plentiful minions 10 out of 10, useful minions 9 out of 10, permanent minions 10 out of 10, squishy and weak caster doesn't really apply. Give it a total score of 7 out of 10. It loses a couple of points due to the missing Grand Campaign option for the Undead. It's a big shame about the lack of necromancy in the Grand Campaign, but you can still have fun in the skirmish mode. There are other mods out there for Medieval Total War 2, which involve Undead in some way. For example, the Zombies Total War mod, which I haven't played. The Zombies in it are not the type of Undead that we usually talk about on this channel. Instead, the idea is that it's some kind of rabies virus that's turning humans into zombies. I haven't played it, but you might want to check it out. There's also a mod for Medieval Total War 2 for the Warcraft universe. The army, it's called the Warcraft fleet. Total War. This has necromancy in the form of some religion, but I don't know the specifics. I need to check it out, and I'll probably do a future video on it for you. This one was released only on the 23rd of April this year. So it goes to show that the Medieval Total War 2 mod scene is still very busy and alive, even now. There's new mods coming out all the time for it. There's also a handful of other Middle-earth mods, pretty much one for every single era. There's a lot out there for this game, and it's still a lot of fun to play, so I figured I'd bring some of these mods to your attention. <laughs> 